American company Northrop Grumman has unveiled a new stealth fighter that could potentially be a concept for a cutting-edge sixth-generation platform known as Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. This is not the first time Northrop Grumman has showcased a secretive stealth aircraft in the same hangar, intended to replace the U.S. Air Force's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the F-22 Raptor, which is planned to be phased out of service by around 2030, although the timeline may shift. NGAD aims to become the world's first sixth-generation fighter and a key component of the family of systems concept, which includes the integration of sixth-generation aircraft with unmanned aerial vehicles under the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. Moreover, the future sixth-generation fighter could be developed in two variants, one optimized for the European theater of operations, short distances, and another tailored for missions over significantly larger distances in the Pacific region. Recently, the U.S. Air Force revealed its plans to have a fleet of approximately 200 NGAD sixth-generation stealth fighters, each costing hundreds of millions of dollars. Additionally, the Air Force intends to allocate over $1.5 billion for the FAXX fighter aircraft within the NGAD framework by 2024. But for now, in this video, we will also share with you other developments in sixth-generation fighters and other exciting news related to them. Let's dive in. Mitsubishi F-3 Fighter In 2021, Japan began developing a new sixth-generation fighter, the Mitsubishi F-3. According to the designer's forecast, the aircraft will be ready in 10 years. The fighter incorporates the most advanced technologies and weapons. It will be equipped with a combat laser and electromagnetic weaponry. The aircraft will be based on the previously developed experimental fifth-generation aircraft, the X-2 Shinshin. The external appearance is still in the concept stage. The Japanese fighter is planned to be equipped with two XF-91 engines, each providing 16,000 kg force of thrust in afterburner mode, which is twice the performance of modern Russian engines. The engines will have a thrust vector control of 20 degrees, making the aircraft highly maneuverable. The aircraft's fuselage will serve as a radar antenna and create radar interference. All systems will be built with components capable of withstanding high-power electromagnetic pulses. Data transmission within the aircraft will occur through optical fiber, and the control system will automatically compensate for the loss of any control surface. The program's cost is $45 billion. The implementation of the Mitsubishi F3 project will enable Japan to create an innovative machine with technical characteristics that will provide an advantage over any adversary in case of a conflict. SB-1 Helicopter American companies Sikorsky and Boeing continue to conduct tests of the high-speed SB-1 Defiant Helicopter as part of the U.S. Department of Defense's Future Vertical Lift Program for the development of vertical takeoff aircraft. The helicopter is capable of rapidly ascending and descending at high speeds, which is of great importance in military operations. The SB-1 utilizes an innovative configuration with coaxially arranged, specially designed counter-rotating rotor blades, the aircraft has a cruising speed of 285 miles per hour, which is very high for helicopters. It is anticipated that the aircraft will be armed with machine guns and grenade launchers to support assault landing forces. U.S. military personnel have praised the SB-1's ability to maneuver and operate at low altitudes, which is crucial for American Army assault missions. Arleigh Burke Class Destroyer Huntington Ingalls Industries has successfully completed sea trials of the new Frank Peterson Destroyer, an Arleigh Burke-class vessel intended for the U.S. Navy. The destroyer spent three days in the Gulf of Mexico, where it conducted missile launches, among other tests. The destroyer was laid down in February 2017 and launched in July 2018. The Frank Peterson belongs to a series of nine ships of the Modified Flight Technology Insertion Project. It represents further development of the Flight 2A line, with the ship's hull lengthened to 500 feet while retaining the previous maximum width of 65 feet. One of the main differences from previous versions of the Arleigh Burke class is the integration of most of the equipment into modules before the final assembly of the ship. Helicopter hangars are made of composite materials to reduce radar visibility. The ship's control will be provided by the Aegis combat system in the Baseline 9 version. The destroyer is armed with two Mark 41 vertical launch systems with a total capacity of 96 missiles. These can include Tomahawk cruise missiles, anti-submarine RUM-139 VLS rocks, or surface-to-air SM-2 missiles. 
Furthermore, the ship's arsenal includes a 127mm MK45 gun, two six-barrel 20mm Phalanx CIW's anti-aircraft systems, four 12.7mm machine guns, and two three 24mm triple-tube torpedo launchers. The vessel can accommodate two SH-60 helicopters on board. Kaihong-6 UAV At the Zhuhai International Air Show, China unveiled its new twin-engine unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, the Kaihong-6. Developed by the Chinese Academy of Aerospace and Aerodynamics, the UAV is positioned as a large, high-altitude, high-speed, multi-purpose strike reconnaissance unmanned aviation complex. The UAV follows a conventional aerodynamic layout and resembles the Kaihong-5 UAV, but with a distinct tail configuration featuring a T-shaped single vertical stabilizer with two jet engines. Additionally, the wingtips of the UAV are split and curved in different directions. The UAV will be produced in two versions, reconnaissance and strike. According to publications in the Chinese press, the claimed specifications include a maximum takeoff weight of 7.8 tons, a payload capacity of 2,000 kilograms, a 20-hour endurance, and a flight range of almost 7,500 miles. It has an overall length of 50 feet, a wingspan of 67 feet, a height of 16 feet, a maximum speed of 500 miles per hour, a cruising speed of 310 miles per hour, and a practical ceiling of almost 40,000 feet. The UAV can carry various payloads, ranging from different types of reconnaissance equipment to precision-guided weaponry. Next Generation Aircraft Carrier Enterprise A ceremony was held at Huntington Ingalls Industries Shipyard in Newport News to commemorate the cutting of the first steel for the construction of the fourth American Next Generation Nuclear Aircraft Carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class, named Enterprise. As reported by Navy Recognition, this ship will be the second in the series to be built entirely using digital design and procedures. The steel cutting for the construction of the third carrier, Enterprise, took place in August 2017. Delivery to the customer is expected in 2028. The length of the flight deck of the new aircraft carrier is 333 meters, with a maximum width of 78 meters. Equipped with two nuclear reactors, the Gerald R. Ford class ship can achieve speeds of over 30 knots. The crew consists of 508 officers, 3,789 sailors, and approximately 2,600 aviation personnel. The aircraft carrier can accommodate up to 90 aircraft and helicopters, including fifth-generation F-35 fighters. The main difference between the new ship and the Nimitz class carriers is the use of electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, emails. Compared to traditional steam catapults, EMAILS provides a greater thrust impulse while reducing the overall device mass. The electromagnetic catapult increases the aircraft sortie rate, with the Gerald R. Ford class carriers capable of handling 160 aircraft launches per day, with peak loads reaching 220 aircraft launches. In contrast, the Nimitz class carriers are limited to 120 aircraft launches per day. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your comment, and click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. See you soon!